we're making flourless egg white savory keto croissants. Let's go. I feel like this is one of the best keto doughs I've ever worked with. And look at it, it's just beautifully soft, pliable, and you can do so many things with it. Today we're making savory croissants and you will see how you can fill this dough. As always, we have the nutritional information and your shopping list in the description box. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Mel. We like to show you clever keto recipes to help you achieve your goals. And without further ado, let's get into the recipe now. We're starting off again with 180 grams of finely grated cheese and my choice is Parmesan. To that, I added one teaspoon of baking powder and this is gonna help us get a more fluffy tortilla. Now our binding agents, which is two teaspoons of xanthan gum and one teaspoon of gelatin powder. Give it a mix to combine all the ingredients and get rid of any lumps. For the wet ingredients, we are using two egg whites and a pinch of cream of tartar and this time I'm using a hand mixer to fluff them up to stiff peaks. If you are using egg whites from a carton, you will need a quarter cup or 60 grams. Add the egg white mixture to your cheese mixture a little at a time, mixing in between and form a ball of dough. Divide the dough into two so it's easier to work with. Then between two sheets of baking or parchment paper, roll out the dough to a thickness of about a couple of millimeters. Create a square shape, and you can see I just used my pasta cutter so it's easier. Then divide the dough into two triangles by cutting through it on a diagonal. And on the widest side of the triangle, create a small cut so it's easier to roll later. You should get six savory croissants out of this recipe, so continue creating the other five triangles for your croissants. Let's talk about filling options. I used guacamole and shredded cooked chicken, but of course, use your favorite. You don't want to use a lot of filling because you won't be able to roll the croissant easily. And as a guide, you can see I only used a teaspoon of the guacamole sauce. You would use about that amount for your sauce and for the meat, I use two teaspoons of cooked shredded chicken. Spread the sauce and leave a border so when you roll, the filling doesn't fall out. Once you have added the filling, you want to start rolling from the widest side of the triangle. When you make your first fold, the dough will crack a little and that's because you're basically folding it onto itself. Another tip is as you're rolling the croissant, so if you imagine that's your pastry, keep the middle going towards your tip. Otherwise you could end up with a skew croissant. Place on a lined baking tray and bake at 320 degrees Fahrenheit for five minutes. Turn the oven tray around, then bake for another five minutes. And this is going to ensure you have even browning on the croissant. Then turn the croissants over and bake for another five minutes. So your bake time is a total of 15 minutes. And here is how they should turn out. Lovely. So this savory croissant recipe is perfect if you are a small eater, if you are fat adapted, or you just want lunch ideas. I really hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I hope you get to make it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and be well.